I'm Chris Smith, and today I want to talk to you a little bit about the overview of our marketing campaign. We chose to take an event from Callaway Golf and spruce it up a little bit. We wanted to raise awareness of our company and our products. We want to acquire new customers in the process, and all the while we want to nurture our existing ones. So in the process, we're creating awareness through the advertisements that we have in place, and we're looking to acquire new clients through the live events, the demo days, and social media, and brand evangelism, as well as nurturing, as I said, existing clients throughout the whole entire process. Now our target market are golfers aged 30, 25 to 54. Their annual income is about $75,000 a year and up with a higher education and zero children in the household. Now they're not just golfers, we know that. We know that they also like to play tennis, baseball, they like to travel, and they enjoy hiking. Our visual business strategy, as you can see here, we have three steps that all push towards sales. We want to create awareness for Callaway events through public relations and video ads and search engine optimization. Step two is the market products and enhance our database. We want to push the demo events and we want to help people make sales at the events and after the events. Step three is nurturing and brand evangelism. With our nurturing campaign through email, we want to bring our existing clients back into us. And through our social media, we want to help push people towards our sales, our new sales on clubs, golf balls, and so forth. By changing the event up a bit, as I want to conclude, it gives people more reason to reconsider attending an event they may have overlooked in the past. We'll utilize SEO, PR, social media, email, and live events to help generate sales. And as I mentioned, we want to raise awareness, acquire new clients, and nurture the existing ones. I'm Chris, and right now I'm going to pass it on to my next teammate. Thanks. Hi everyone, I'm Jamie Goldberg and I'm going to be discussing why we chose the prototypes that we did. Our overall goal was to raise awareness. Um, we wanted to be able to get the word out to the public that we were having this big event, that we were doing demo days, that we were going to do a product launch. Um, the main um, prototypes that we chose was a press release, we did a banner pay-per-click, we did social media, and we also produced a blog. Um, one of the main large plans that we had was our email campaign. The email campaign was critical in getting and capturing those emails to where we could send out emails in the future for potential and new clients. Um, we wanted to be able to capture all those email addresses in order to send out emails for linking up to our social media, linking up to our products. Um, anytime we had a new product, we'd be able to launch that soon. So we used this idea of having demo days in order to get the word out and get and really capture those email addresses so that we had plans to promote in the future. Um, in our press release and our social media, we were able to create a product launch. We wanted to create conversation on Twitter. We wanted to have our um, sponsors or spon the people that we do sponsor, or if we work for Callaway, it would be those um, athletes that we sponsored. We wanted them to create conversation on Twitter. That way we'd be able to really get the ball rolling and really get a lot of people involved in the product launch. Um, Facebook was a good way for us to show what was going on at demo days. We'd be able to show pictures of the event happenings and things of that nature. Also show our product online on a new tab. We'd also be able to show movies or videos, anything that can link people back to that landing page. Overall, everything was done in order to link everything together. We wanted to get the word out, raise awareness, reach our target market. Our strategy for launching the campaign focused on four key areas. One, building awareness. Two, encouraging registration and attendance. Three, identifying and developing brand evangelists. And four, laying the foundation for promoting future demo day events. Our approach for accomplishing these four goals was threefold. First, we wanted to develop and launch a foundation, our foundational elements. Then we wanted to launch a successful outreach strategy to generate leads. And then finally, convert those leads to demo day participants. The foundational elements included 
optimize landing pages designed to educate and convert site visitors, social media channels designed to engage and build long-term relationships, and a blog designed to keep users connected and up-to-date with ongoing event and product information. The promotional materials that we used included media outreach material, including press releases and media alerts. Email campaigns designed to attract existing Callaway users and blog, social, blog and social media posts. The strategy used to convert these leads included more of a direct response approach using advertising materials such as banner ads, search ads, and physical signage using strong calls to action. Although we experienced some challenges throughout the campaign planning and launch process, such as general group experience levels, short campaign timelines, and individual group participant schedules, we also feel like we encountered lots of success using this launch strategy. And overall, we are pretty pleased with this approach. I hope you enjoyed learning about our launch strategy. Again, I'm Tanisha, and now I'll be passing this along to my next teammate. Thank you and have a good day. Hi, this is Kevin Van Valkenberg, and I'd like to talk to you about the KPIs for our campaign. Uh, first off, the KPIs are so important because this is how we're going to get the optimization uh, and insights that are going to make uh, our, our media spend and our tactics more successful in the future that we'll talk about in the last section. Uh, so for us, the first KPI is very simple. It's filling every available slot uh, in, the, in the events because you can't have a successful demo event if you don't have uh, a full house. And uh, this, this KPI is, is really the one that we need to optimize for the most. Um, secondarily, we know that there's real value in our social communities. Uh, so building up our Twitter following and our Facebook campaign and measuring the amount of shares uh, that come from that uh, and, and working on growing that list and optimizing uh, towards those goals is also very important. Uh, and third, we've got a, a KPI that we can work with around our email campaign uh, and finding ways to uh, optimize towards having a higher open rate uh, and minimizing the people who will drop out of that email list. So uh, those are some of the basic KPIs. So now let's take a look at some of the actual data that our campaign generated. This is from Google Analytics. Uh, when we uh, launched the landing page with the analytics on it, you see we had 15 total visits from nine unique visitors uh, with 21 total page views, which averages out to be 1.4 pages per visit. Uh, the average visit duration was about 17 seconds. We had a pretty high bounce rate at 73%, uh, but 60% of our traffic was coming from new visitors. Uh, we'll also talk a little bit about the conversions and as we go to our email slide uh, this is how we actually tracked our conversions because we launched an email campaign once somebody registered for this uh, so we had 15 people register for our event um, and then uh, we're, aver we're averaging seven unsubscribes per month and had an average open rate of 50 percent on the first email uh, that followed so uh, the people that we were getting were highly engaged and definitely did open the next email. And we look at Facebook. The Facebook likes are very valuable to us, uh, just in the ability to create a social community. Uh, within a week, we garnered 22 new likes, and uh, there was some active sharing of our content. Um, some of the most uh, viewed things were some of the video tips that we put up, uh, and we did have people sharing them across their own networks as well. So uh, from a data standpoint, the tactics that we've chosen definitely seem to be performing uh, at least in the early stages with a limited data set uh, as we would have expected. And now I'll turn it over to uh, my final team member who will talk about our optimization. Thanks. Hello, my name is Ebony Williams and I am featured here with my lovely daughter Zoe. And I will be speaking today about future improvements and maintenance for our marketing campaign. So far you've heard from fellow group members on various parts of the campaign. These particulars come from various places, all working together to increase consumer conversion. But without continued maintenance and improvements over time, these strategical outlets will begin to break down and fail to achieve desired goals. General improvements and maintenance have been broken down into four topics. 
which we will discuss as we go along. Over time, the popularity of featured banner ads in PPC advertisements or email blasts may cause a decline in performance over time. Changing or uploading our current online banner ads and emails can give consumers a fresh eye on what we have to offer. The current Callaway target audience being upper middle class adults making 75000 a year with no children by expanding to a similar target audience with children could prove to be advantageous in maintaining long term membership as live change. Altered campaigns can offer family oriented events to improve and sustain customer conver conversion. Positive results may also form from increasing or pausing the frequency of event location and times. This helps the campaign from getting stagnant in the eyes of the consumer and refreshes intended goals. Consequently, it may not be the click results that is the point of interest, but instead the type of consumer that results from the click. If the search engine ads are attracting the incorrect consumer, then changing the ad will result in better audience targeting. The goal for future improvements are as follows. Make small improvements rather than major campaign changes. Take step-by-step -step approach, making small changes as you go. Support the areas that are moving along more successfully. And remove all or alter weaker areas of the campaign. Limit the frequency or quantity of the changes for optimal results. Limiting the focus to one change at a time makes more for opportunity to monitor and better understand the effects of the change in your campaign over time. Thank you.